everyone. We're calling to order. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Great. All right. So I believe we will have still one, I, I hope, two more board members joining us. Uh, we know of at least one unidentified board member who's running late. But um, before we actually get into the, the business part, ah, Mary Lynn. Hi. So um, we have received a very generous offer from Cat Fair, the principal of Callis Elementary, to whom we are very grateful um, to her and her, uh, her people to allow us to have our meeting here today. Um, yeah. So Kat had what I think is a terrific idea to show us around the school a bit. Um, and we can sort of hold the business part pending uh, a tour that we can then get our circulation going and um, stay awake for the rest of the meeting. Is that okay? Yeah. It's do great. Do you want to start with that or do you want to bring people? Um, you know, uh, why don't I receive the guests and uh, yeah, that would, thank you, Kat. Um, welcome guests. <laughs> so I, far away. I know, I know. It's a very but, big room. Yeah. But, but close to our hearts. Um, you need to move us closer so we can really feel like we're participating. Do you want to move the chairs closer? Next time. Okay. Um, and welcome to the administrative team as well. Thank you for extending your already very long day to include, um, to include us. So, um, Let's see, agenda revisions. I guess <laughs> the tour is one. Yeah. Um, Surprise. <laughs> any other agenda revisions? No? Board comments of any sort to preface the meeting, I preface the tour? Since we are going to meet in the various schools, that the tour take place as part of the agenda, at least the first time we're in each school. Wonderful, yes. I, I think that's a great idea. Any objections to that? No, I said U32 too, although I'm sure yeah. it'll take a while. Bit by bit, yeah. <laughs> by wing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Very good. And um, we might as well also, if we have any public comments before the start of the tour, and uh, of course, you're, everyone is welcome to join in the tour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if there are any public comments at this point in the meeting, please feel free. And uh, you know, as as we discuss issues of interest, we can be open then too. That's a nice change. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Then over to you, Kat. Okay. So I was. I'm glad to see that you think it's a good idea because I was thinking. A lot of board members have not ever been in this building before, and if this is a shared merged board, what a great way to start the collaboration train of like getting to know all of our buildings, right? Um, I think the purpose of these principal highlights or school highlights is to talk about student work and really honor that, that voice, but they're not here yet. <laughs> um, so in the last, uh, last spring, there are several of us, most of us actually, that participated in Designing Adult Learning with Jean Thompson Grove. And so this last week of in-service has really been set, um, focused on us trying to come together and think about what it means to be going a little deeper in the work of our implementation plan, but also really a focus, a positive focus on collaboration and alignment across all of our schools. And I thought it'd be great for you guys to get a taste of like the excitement and a little bit of trepidation that we all feel when we're waiting for kids to come back to school. So why don't you follow me, and we'll come back here at the end. And if it is other administrators, feel free to jump in. You're doing some of the same stuff. Pick up where we left off. Uh, um, 
we've done 2.1, which uh, spotlight on Callis principal from Callis school. And we're at 2.2, superintendent's report. Um, I'll invite Deborah. Um, I, I think all of you in the public now, Rick, Helena, have you met Deborah Taylor? Yeah, we've met. Very good. OK, and Denise, you have two now. Good. So, um, Deborah. Great. Uh, in your packets, you'll see a report. Uh, the board will have this available. So I'll just mention a few highlights, because I don't want to reread what you've already had a chance to look at, I'm sure, in advance. But I just wanted to let you know that my transition has been going very smoothly. Thanks to all of our wonderful administrators. Uh, they've been so welcoming and helpful uh, from the school levels um, through the central office. So my hats off to all of you, and thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. I've also been reaching out and um, meeting our state legislators, uh, other individuals who are very involved in the school, and it's exciting uh, to get a sense of their perspective as people who serve the community as well. Next step, as I mentioned to you a moment ago, is to be reaching out and uh, having appointments with all of our town clerks and our town select board members. And uh, from that standpoint, to build up those connections and relationships that are really crucial for us as we transition to a single district. As you probably know, tomorrow is our district wide celebration. And you should have received an invitation. You're all welcome to attend. The breakfast is at 7.30. If you could let me know later on if you will be attending, that would be great. We'll have reserved seating for you in the auditorium at U32. And our um, focus will be on unification and also on celebrating our successes and taking a look at the deeper level of work that we need to do, just as Kat was mentioning earlier as we move forward into the year, not to mention celebrating so many wonderful things and uh, from the standpoint of individual contributions to years of service, uh, I think it'll be a very fun and dynamic time. Even have a, a fun video with music for you, so just to tease you if you're interested, you know, try to come. So yeah, not that we've made, it's not that we've made, so. Um, in any case, there has also been a, a very productive retreat held this summer. Uh, by our administrative team, and uh, that is an annual event. We met at U32 this year, and during that retreat, again, the focus was uh, supporting our two new principals, Gillian and Casey, who are here, and uh, helping them become accustomed to the various procedures and plans that are in place, and adding their very important and very valuable insights to all of that work. And once again, just reconnecting as a leadership team. Uh, it's so important that we can reach out to one another at any point throughout the year to be sure that we uh, have each other's backs, if you will. That if there's a problem, if it's something that who's an experienced principal at a neighboring school might be better equipped to respond to than someone at the central office, for example, and I strongly encourage that. And I know we've already got that type of a uh, leadership team going, and we're going to build on that this year, for sure. Uh, let's see. I made a note about our facilities. Kat shared with you the work that was done here. Uh, we've also completed a small amount of maintenance projects. There were no major construction projects anywhere this summer, but as you can see from my report, we've made progress in all areas. Uh, our track, which is the one most very obvious project, we anticipate will be completed on time. Uh, it has recently been paved, and there is now a setting phase before they're able to place the topping or the, um, the specialized, uh, I think it's rubber type of track on top of it. So there has to be a time in between where it sort of settles and cures. So we're in that settling and cure stage. So if you have a, an idea that you want to go out and run, please don't run at U32 track until you see the sign that says, it's open and you can go and use it. So, uh, so we're excited about that too. All right, other than that, I'd just be open to any questions the board may have, um, and we can move on from there. So, questions, anyone? Is it good? Yeah? yeah. My, my comment is I, I would like to see a, a more condensed version of your welcome put on the front porch forum so all the cut, I, all 
almost say customers. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> in the sense they're customers, but sure. all the citizens, I think they would like to see some, just a short sure, version. Of course. Of um, I don't think we're scheduled to record, but I could do a screen uh, audio, audio and video uh, separately and have that available. I could do that later on. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I was just thinking like a blur. Oh, in oh, blur. Written, written oh a summary. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. No problem. Good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Denise. I yes. just want to make a comment. It's really hard to hear from there to way back here. Okay. Um, just so that uh, Dorothy was asking Deborah if she could condense her superintendent's report, which is um, in I, the I packet. Uh, I, I just couldn't hear what she was for asking. For Front Porch Forum. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try to be mindful and, and project. project. Oh, yes. I should apologize. I thought our equipment was ready to go, and it just is broken. Oh. Is this a, it's a little glitch? We'll get it fixed. Just okay. not tonight. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just want to make sure. I just wanted to hear what you had to say. <laughs> Thank Great. you. Thanks. All right. Otherwise, let's move on then to 3.1. Uh, we have a number of sets of minutes to approve, um, adding up to hours, probably. But uh, this is the consent agenda. What we can do if um, we have board orders sure. here, too, mm -hmm. as well, right? Yes. So board did receive these minutes both in their packet and previously when they were posted. So if you're comfortable, one could make a motion and then discuss unless you feel there's more need for discussion. Oh, that, that sounds fine. And yeah. we'll, set, we'll uh, do the board orders mm -hmm. we can do those separately. Well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, anybody want to make a motion to approve the minutes of June 24th, June 26th, okay. July 15th, mm -hmm. August 1, and August 13th? Oh, oh okay, one's on the table. I move that we approve those minutes. Those minutes. We'll set the Wonderful, so floor moves, George seconds. Do we have any any changes to the minutes? Dorothy. For the August 1st one? Yes. I, I was not recorded as being there, but I was. Yes, and Jael was recorded twice. Uh, my um, name's Bill Yes, and um, Jael's name is actually J-A-I-E-L. No, no, no. Um, it's in some places it's correct, and in um, but there are I think maybe half a dozen places where it's the I is is out of place. Okay. You're welcome. And then um, actually on page eight is the last sentence of the last meeting we had <coughs> when we were over at the visitor center um, about Twitter and Facebook. I didn't say it shouldn't be the sole way of. I just wanted to raise the issue that everyone wouldn't get it. If you use Twitter or Facebook, everyone would not be receiving that information. So, did you catch that? Um, Dorothy's point on the minutes is that at our last meeting, she wanted to make clear that if we went to Twitter and Facebook, not everybody who needs to see the information or who would want to see the information will be able to and just wanted to make sure that that was clear. There is something in Secretary of State's office, I don't know if it's statute or not, that municipalities have to be concerned about if you have a Facebook page or something like that. There are certain requirements that you have to meet and things you have to do to maintain it. So if you're gonna do a kind of a Facebook page, you might wanna check with the Secretary of State's office about the rules and regulations. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. Okay, um, any other changes? <coughs> I, I had one question, I guess, on um, the June 24th meeting. There were five of us present. So, if I, if I count it correctly. So, um, should we note that there was no quorum? Did you take any action? 
We did not. Wow. That would probably be wise. Okay. To state that in the minutes that there was no no quorum. Okay. Great. That's the meeting on June twenty fourth. On June twenty fourth, there was no quorum present. It was a, one of the budget informational meetings that we did. It's kind of in that part where it says Alan Gilbert noted that only six board members are present. That sentence is in it. One, two, three. Um, ah. that the stealth member. But I think there were only five, right? Yeah. Five. Yeah. 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 So five. Um, only five members. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So are we ready for a vote on the minutes with those changes? All in favor of approving the minutes with the changes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed? So we have board orders, our first batch of, of board orders. Um, with U32, our, and I don't know if the <coughs> other boards, you prefer to, to kind of see them. We should have a number of people see them. Like right? around and we see them and, and then maybe have questions. So if we, were to, if we were to kick that towards the end of the meeting, once people have had a chance, it's an agenda <coughs> revision. My apologies for not raising well, it. Well, it usually is there, but then it's in the action item, so that we've had time to. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is fine. There's, if nobody objects to moving it towards the end so that everybody, or as many as possible, have a chance to see. All right. And they're circulating. And they're circulating. Thank you very much. All right, in that case, let's move on to uh, agenda category four, board organization. Um, and I must say, I, I don't know about you, but I rather like this way of doing our agenda thematically, instead of having discussion items and then, and then action items separate. I like having it, you know, by category of, of, of work. So Scott, could the board orders usually be in the finance discussion action, which is farther down, and then we would have had time to circulate it? I, it sounds like a good idea. Is there any problem Seems with like that it's happening? Thematic. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I'd like to have them available to us online before the meeting, so I would have more time sitting at the meeting and trying to take part in a conversation, it's very hard to read through the board orders, which are kind of tiny sometimes, <laughs> um, and, and even think about them is difficult. So if you could have them 24 hours before or pick a time that's reasonable, I would like to. Yeah, so Dorothy is recommending our being able to see them ahead of time. You're anticipating uh, and part of the discussion that we'll be having under 4.3, I guess. Um, so can we, can we hold that thought sure. yep. for the moment? The thoughts there. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you, Lindy, as well. All right, so 4.1 is the WCUUSD annual meeting date. Um, now, question arose as to, um, according to the statute, the meeting date, I, I personally, and maybe someone can help me here, um, did we ever set town meeting date as our annual meeting date? I, I it can't be town meeting it has to be before. Just like U32. Yeah. But, but did we at some point in the articles or somewhere? It, it didn't happen in the organizational meeting, apparently. I don't remember. No, I, I, I looked at the calendar again, but I don't, I don't think we, we just said it needs to be, we're going to decide on, so depending decide. on when the budget was passed. This is just depending on that. So maybe there's a 30 day. Yeah. So, Pretty sure we did not decide. We 
kind of leave you leave talk about doing the, the week before time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it will be the information on that everybody would have stuff for the time. Okay. I remember, if, but I'll check. Yeah, I, I think we actually talked about doing the voting on town meeting. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, that's that's correct. Right. We did voting on town meeting. Yeah, town meeting yeah. yeah, the discussion meeting was, I don't think we set it. And so we, the, each of the towns had done it differently right. yeah. meeting before this. Mm -hmm. So this, um, this annual meeting is primarily informational. Correct. But it would also involve electing the, the clerk, clerk and, and, the the, and the treasurer. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that until we voted on town meeting day. We always had a meeting after town meeting to reorganize. Yeah, we reorganized. No, oh, no not, not for the board, not the board but oh, for uh, the, district. the, uh, the district. Oh, the district. Right, Mary right. Ormsby? Yeah. But that. they're already on the ballot. Well, well no. Well, it, you're, well, those of you who are on the U32 board might recall that you took those same actions. And it's, it's, if you think about it, this district is following the same pattern as the U32 district. And, and there are just a few officers that are voted on at that meeting. And one is the clerk and one is the treasurer. But of all of the board members who must be elected by the electorate of the communities are on the ballot along with the budget, which is voted on at town meeting day for everyone. So that, has, that is the way the union districts operate. And I think that's the way you've operated before. I wasn't here, but I understand that you followed the same procedures in U32. Jody's saying yes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. so uh, she's I can't recall. Yeah, I, I thought we voted for the clerk and treasurer. At your annual meeting. Um, at the, but the annual meeting, it was actually on the town, on the town ballot, ballot. Mm -hmm. is what I recall. Oh, okay. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. It was on the town ballot. For you, 32? For you, 32. Yeah. 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 Well, we can research that further, um, and the board can choose, make a decision on that in a future Because the U32 budget but was also yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, right, yeah. the budget will be. And, and I think the treasurer on the clerk. Right. Yeah. However, in terms of an informational meeting, yeah. that seems like a, we could like a that perfect too. date for, um, and. And I did check in our finalized articles of agreement, and I don't see. You don't see any anything reference. there that references the date. Those dates are usually set at a board meeting, mm -hmm. not um, by the rural electorate. Yeah. So. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Sure. And by stage that it has to be so many days, right? Before town meeting. It has to be uh, so many days before and be which no earlier than February 1st, before your annual meeting. Right. right. Before, your, well, before your town meeting. So, so if you were to follow, I believe it's 10 days, uh, which would actually put it in the middle of our school vacation. So it's not a problem for me, but it may be for people in the communities. So I'll, I can verify that. If Do you recall, Jody? I'm sorry to put you on the spot like this, but did your U32 meeting fall um, during a, the school break, or did you do it after? The informational meeting has always been the night before, yeah. Monday night. Yeah. Monday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the town that and was the Saturday, wherever we were. Most people, people were in vacation. vacation. Yeah, and it was always where Stephen, Adrian, Magnita, and I had a very nice hour and a half together all by ourselves. Well, that, was, that was kind of during vacation. It was, yeah. So this, I think, this date is before vacation. I, I think this is a much better date for, uh, for an annual informational meeting. Does it fit the statute, though? If it's well, 10 days before, it doesn't. Yeah. Except, kind of yeah. except if it's just an informational meeting, well, it doesn't no, have to there's, be. There's actually, it's, it has to be an annual meeting. Now, it, you can have informational meetings yeah, at any time, hmm. uh, but this is an actual formal annual meeting, which is required by statute. So let me take a quick peek at that just to verify while we're talking. Sure. I love the internet. And, <laughs> yeah. I did have somebody ask me about that when I said we were setting a date to make sure that it could be more than the 10 days before. Right. Because that's always vacation. Yeah. It's always vacation. Yeah. Yeah, Scott. Oh, sorry, Denise. The informational meeting, the annual meeting that you're talking about is town meeting, correct? This is where we're, this is where there's some haziness. Um, I'm, 
My understanding of the Section 422 of Title 16 is that it is, unless the voters change it, at an annual meeting, like at town meeting. And I had, I had had in my head, but I have all sorts of things in my head, um, <laughs> the idea that, that we had somewhere along the line set town meeting day as the annual meeting day for this, for this new district. But I am, I am detecting shaking heads around me. So, so I'm doubting my, my memory. If you have informational meetings, will there be one in each school? Or is there going to just be one at one location yeah, for all the all five Yeah, um, we, this is not, we have not discussed this. And um, it would be sort of a logistical uh, thing. Um, Rick? I would put up for discussion, I mean, consideration anyway. Should actually do both. There should be a town discussion because there are a couple of things going on in those informational in meetings. That is where you know towns are seeing what the impact of the decision of this unified board is, and then there would need to be an informational meeting that had all the towns invited because that debate needs to happen in the five town forum. You know, mm -hmm. in that conversation, it does not happen at town meeting when the decisions are already made. It really should be. You know, that's the place where the debate should happen. Well, yeah, because at town meeting, you can only talk about stuff because the money questions, and I don't even know now if this applies, the money questions are by Australian ballot. Right. Correct. Yeah. So yes. is that going to still be the case? Mm -hmm. That will still be the case. Mm -hmm. So it, having a budget discussion or informational meeting at town meeting, it's, it's, it's too late. Yeah, that's why the school meeting was always earlier. Yeah. Um, we do have the option of tabling this because... To do more research? Yeah, just to... Um, I, I see the section 422, but that's referring to town meetings. And because we're a union district, we have some different regulations, and I would prefer to get that investigated more thoroughly before you set that date. I think, I think that's important. Okay. Uh, so Dorothy. Another thing to keep in mind, I believe these are Australian ballots, mm -hmm. so if you have the public hearing as early as you can, people are informed before they get their absentee ballots or vote early or whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would prefer as early as we can do it for yeah. that reason. And we can have just informational yeah. budget meetings we like we've done all yep. yeah. besides this. Exactly. We'll have them along the way as the budget is being developed. Yeah. And the public is always welcome to give input. Right? Yes. And Rick? Yeah, I'm just going to add in that, you know, for this to work, you know, for you not to alienate individual communities, that, you know, that, I think that collective public forum and discussion, you know, that has to happen. And, you know, because that discussion, is going to turn into a conversation between communities, not just between you, but in that in that debate and discussion. Yeah, I, I think of the forums that we have. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. They have to be serious and they have to uh, be very yeah. inclusive. Yeah. So we can come yeah. back with proposed aids. Okay. Um, Deborah suggests, I think, sagely, that we move this to a future agenda and come back to it. Um, when my when there's greater clarity, yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. So then, four point two, board goals and work plan. Um. They're on page twenty. Yes, they are. And Gloria, did you want to address those? So I'm not very loud. Your best operatic My voice. My best for it. So what, what I did is I, I used what our meetings and what we had talked about in uh, for our retreat. So when we had a retreat, we, we had a we wanted to put it together a sort of a plan so that we didn't drop something while we were thinking of something else. So just to help us. So this is a working plan. So it always be we will always be adjusting at each meeting we are able to change things or say but it just keeps us in check so that we don't forget 
to do something. So it's preliminary, and it's uh, basically what we all talked about could fit in those three goals. A broadened communication with community is our most important goal, we said, is one of them. Long-term planning and educational and academic outcomes. And uh, what else? We, so I don't know if I don't think we need to go through all of them. No, so it's just a way to go through. Yes, go through them. No, no it's a nice template okay. for us to keep on track and say, yes, this is on the agenda, the things that are saying August. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. and I took some of the, I, I, I didn't finish the all because there was not enough room yet, but I took all of your input to Scott and mm -hmm. blended it in, into, into this. And like I said, this will be. This will be changing, but we can remember that you know in October we want to be thinking about monitoring goals. It's not like our staff is not going to remind us that, but we can be proactive and be thinking of different. And there's, a, a, especially right now when we're getting started, a, to try to make it more a, specific to fewer areas. And as we start getting a rhythm, there's things that could be. We don't need to map the community every year, for example, which is one of our goals. But we, it's a it's a working plan, and everybody can give input. We it came so Jonas and Scott and Deborah had seen it before, and it was after our first retreat that we did this. And this is a a working plan that you know we had used in the past, mm -hmm. and it seemed to work. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I appreciate your mentioning that it is flexible because I think that there may be things that arise that are not included here. Yeah. And they can be changed and added, so that's really helpful. Yeah, and... And, and it's a starting point. Yes. Right, so it's, it's that, always a starting point, yeah. Uh, what, what I think <laughs> is also nice about it is that it highlights what we should always be doing. We should always be communicating outside of, um, of our just board member uh, group to, um, to our towns, to the people we, we deal with in our schools. Um, we should always be thinking ahead and always thinking about what the whole purpose of our being here is, which is for, of course, for the next generation to be educated properly. And uh, the, the one last thing would be that it's not meant to have every single agenda item. That no, we no, doing no. Of course not. It, but it, it gives a sense of the seasonality of yes. the work. Yes. You know what comes up typically at what time of year. Um, and alongside this, I have my own sort of um, checklist of to-do items mm -hmm. that um, that run from from budget, superintendent uh, hiring. Um, policy review, and so forth, and the timelines that, that go with those. So that is that fits just fine in this. So it, it's, a, it's a way of just looking at the whole year to come. <coughs> Any comments? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's a good start. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Effort. Thank you, Flora. Yeah. So, um, I guess approve board goals and work plan. Uh, do we have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the board goals and work plan for the 2019 to 2020. Thank you. Uh, second. Uh, so, Mary Lynn moves, Dorothy seconds. Any further discussion? Good. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed. Okay. Great. So, 4.3. And here's where we'll get back to some of the thoughts that were um, held over from before. We have board committees. We have two items in particular. Um, perhaps what I should do is solicit a motion to establish a finance committee. I'll second it. Okay, thank you. Dorothy moves, Lindy seconds. All right, so um, finance committee. 
Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> um, the charge that I foresee, which I don't think would be too controversial, the, the number one um, priority is to oversee the development of a fiscal year or school year 2021 budget by mid-January um, in accordance with Lori's timetable. Um, the second and also quite important piece of work is to monitor the current spending that we're doing under the fiscal year or the school year 2019-2020. So that monitoring of spending fits in with what um, you were talking about, Dorothy, in terms of perhaps the finance committee could have the first look at the board orders as part of its uh, portfolio to monitor spending. Um, does that make sense to you? Unless other people, I, I just have a feeling that other board members would like to see it. I mm -hmm. mean, the finance committee can look at it more closely, but if I were not on the finance committee, I would like to see those yeah. orders before the meeting. I take it that's a common perspective. I think any communication, whether it's finance or any other related negotiations, I understand there's a need for the committees, but I think that information needs to go to the whole board. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. So might I suggest there's a board orders are going around. Uh, so some of you have seen the format that they are in. Would it be possible for us to use that printout as the information that you all receive electronically? The meeting prior to the time in which you were going to be asked to affirm or vote on those expenditures. That's is that what you're speaking of, Dorothy? The printout that you were yeah. looking at. Today? Yeah, I mean, unless we come to conclusion that we want to ask Lori if there's some other way that would be better for us. You know, I haven't. Lori, all the years you? I've been on the board, yeah. it's always been pass it around while you're talking, and I've never really had a good chance. At looking at stuff. So in, in the prior superintendency, we had emails of those out, and if anyone had questions, they could feel free to call me or Lori, and we would research it for you uh, in advance of the meeting. So, I'm, Lori, do you have any thoughts on that? That's how we had done that with the Berlin board, um, and that, that worked out well. We could, yeah. Right now, it's a fairly short list. It may get larger. Oh, so you, whether or not you want it in your packet is, you know, you certainly are welcome mm -hmm. to have it. But we can definitely email it to you. I, well, I, I wasn't thinking of it in my packet. I was thinking of having an email with, mm -hmm. with an attachment, yeah. so yeah. I can it's see it for yeah. 24 yeah. hours yeah. or more before. I don't know what mm -hmm. a time frame right. is is would be unreasonable for you, Lori. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll go back maybe 48 time. hours. I, I honestly don't know. So mm -hmm. maybe you could give us some um, options. Okay. Uh, are you able to follow this in the gallery? Mm -hmm. Makes okay. perfect sense to me. I mean, yeah. I, mm -hmm. it's yep. I have signed up, read enough board orders. You're missing a meeting when you're reading them in a. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. in a yeah that's right. It's far that's better to do read them. Very good. They used to email. They are. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. I'm not getting. Okay, perhaps you could, um, would you please jot yes. down your email? Again? Getting the agenda and that's it. You're not mm -hmm. getting the package. Oh, I'm not getting the package. Okay. Okay. I have a piece of paper. Let me just double check it. I'll add it to that list. I'm very sorry. <coughs> it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. so, so one last question. So whatever date makes the most sense for the board order to be. Yes. You know, at, the, at our meeting at the beginning of the month or. Yeah. Whatever right. Just in advance. Whatever is best for you, because I don't know what. Yeah. Are you all the, wherever you need the checks and mm -hmm. are the times that we're meeting right now in work? I'll or double check checks? it. I'm yeah. going to go back to look at how um, the schools are getting us the information, and yeah. we, we might end up having to run an on-cycle check if someone missed a deadline and had the need for a check. But you've already given us um, approval and authority to do that. Yeah. So we'll just find a way to make it work. Great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we're still on the finance committee. This, um, oh, and there's one more aspect to the finance committee that I think is, is very important, which is 
to oversee the development of a framework for long-term capital planning and budgeting for the entire merged district. And to do this, we would like, by the end of May 2020, to come up with that framework. Essentially, very much like um, what was done here in Calais, uh, and, and perhaps elsewhere, too. Um, so, it's a, it's a big job, this Finance Committee, but what we'd like to be able to do is, is have it be a doable job, so that um, we're thinking, or, okay, I was thinking, that it could have um, at least three members, more if, uh, if you believe that it should have more, but, um, in and terms of, yes, please. Um, in my experience, it's been, um, oftentimes this committee might meet during the day. It could be first thing in the morning. Because uh, I know many people have night commitments or would rather be home with their families than, than joining us at a meeting in the evening. Um, but in any case, if, you, <laughs> if, you are, if you are interested, but you're thinking, I'm not sure another evening is for me, um, that's an option. We'd be happy to offer the meeting at 7.30 or 8 in the morning so that you can come on your way to work or that might give more of our members a chance to participate because a lot of people do have very busy lives. Right? Yeah, quite right. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so um, what do you think about numbers? Do you think three as a, as a core working group for this finance committee is, will that, um, in your opinion, will that Suffice. Do you want to try it and see if it see if it works? How often are you thinking these meetings would be? It, it would depend. I think it may be there may be more meetings. It would be very task oriented, so that they wouldn't meet unless they unless there was work to be done, um, and it would probably be more intensive in the budget period. Um, and <coughs> less so at other times. I guess my only thought would be, I, I think three people would be, would be great. And the, the part about the facilities, I think we, we could investigate maybe having somebody from outside. Oh, most definitely. Give us, give this us would that be, framework that, right. Okay, so there's not to the capital spending part. Right, yes. yeah. this is yeah. oversee, yeah. not do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, we, so, when you say, <laughs> we don't do. <laughs> That's our motto. Uh, the word is overseeing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Do you think they for 12 months? Um, November, December. November, December, and possibly first half of January. But the capital one would be throughout the year. Kind of yeah, it would. I think we want to have around. an assessment done first, which would probably occur after the budget. So I don't think that they would fall on top of one another. Yeah, it, it wouldn't. We would try to structure the work so that it was, it was sensible. Well, you'd have to have the capital planning done somewhat before you start setting the budget. Well, we yeah, uh, we for actually, this. We do have some documents that have been, were prepared in 2016. Uh, we had an efficiency study, and every school uh, had a capital expenditure plan, which looked at short term projects, some of whom have already been completed. But it has been three years, so I think it's time for a thorough review. I think we know now what the board had thought last year would be our priorities for this year. We already have a list of projects to make, that we need to address. This would be a more long-term. Yeah, I, I don't think we could get it done properly. Mm. And be, if, by if the, you think we have a starting point, that's what we get. Yeah. I think we do. I yeah. looked over the documents. I think we were very thorough. Okay. Scott? Uh, Rick? Yeah, if you want to if you take capital planning seriously, which you should, because it's a very, very big planning thing for your saver, I mean, you, you don't want to be doing assessments of things in the middle of winter. There's, almost some, there's a lot of infrastructure sitting out there that you can't access. Mm -hmm. when this is actually the time. Certainly in the fall, you don't, you don't want to be into snowfall when you do that. 
I do right. that yeah. work. Yeah. That's, you're that's, right. We would bring a yeah, person so you, to do that work. thinking about doing that. We could do that. You do need detail. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I haven't seen the prior reports and things, but you know, do that. You know, get contractors and do that on a building level and get. Don't take you know really broad brush, brush estimates. Go ahead and get real condition assessments for your major mechanicals and things like that. And you'll you'll actually have something that's worth <coughs> using, and then you can project lives. And exactly. You'll really have a good working budget. Scott, no. yeah, and and this is a great example of all the resources that we have at our. Well, I'm not sure how much at our disposal, but at least all the resources that are out there in our towns um, for various kinds of work. And, and Rick, you're certainly one for on the capital planning side. Um, great. Uh, point taken. Thank you. Um, so shall we move on to who is on this committee? Um, <clears throat> I had some thoughts about it, but I don't want to impose them on you. Uh, is there, are, are there those of you who are interested in the Finance Committee, who are, who would really like to do it? I don't know many of you. I have an interest in it, but I also have an interest in negotiations. Oh, so. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Jail, did you, were you about to say something? I was going to just ask more. Is finance committee like turning the budget for school lunches and things, or what? Can you just yeah, it's the it's comprehensive. It? Yeah, yeah. And really, it's a really bad month. I mean, November harvest or yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, There'll be time for input from the full board, though, yes. right? Budget okay. in the meeting, so it's more like a committee to yeah. inform the whole people, like you do with the agendas and things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and it, and we can offer feedback. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I have a great interest in it, but I have no interest whatsoever in being the chair of it. Um, I want to be a strap hanger. Did you hear feedback from Chris at all before? Um, Did you hear this? I, I think, I, think uh, I haven't heard from him, but I, I know him. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he wants to be on it? Or I, I, I think he has other interests. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Are you talking about Chris? Chris yes. McFay. Chris McFay. McFay. Yeah. I, I'd be willing to be on it, but I can't be chair. I, don't, I can't have the responsibility. Okay. I'll, I'll be sure. willing to be on that, especially since it's like a really smart group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, great. Okay. Would you be Are willing, you willing to be chair? Chair? Mm-hmm. Can we hold chair? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be willing. Can we talk about that? Yeah. So we we can have a committee of four as well. Um, there's nothing magical about three. Uh, a committee of four would actually be better. Pardon me? It depends what time of day we're going to be. Morning. If it's early morning, it's morning, morning would be up. No, then no, they're night meetings. Yeah. Uh, well, family. afternoon, <laughs> daytime, but morning, early. Morning is hard? Too hard for me. Because I think, what about for you, Vera? Morning would be best for me. Really? Well, I'll just, morning is. Well, you can take care of morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Thank you, Dorothy. I'll, I'll, I'll nag you if I see <laughs> Please. I'm counting on it. Okay, so. Um, so our three members are Vera, Four, and Scott. That's got it. And me. Okay, yeah. perfect. Just want to be sure we have this. I have it. Yeah. So no our. Um, our yeah, we have a motion right to establish a finance committee. Um, shall we just expand that motion to include the three of us? With flow and, and the charge. Mm -hmm. um, the charge being, if I may read it, oversee development of FY21 budget by mid January 2020. 
monitor, oh, that was a period after 2020, <laughs> monitor current spending under FY20 budget, period, oversee development of a framework for long-term capital planning and budgeting by end May 2020, period. So that's the charge. We have the membership um, with Fleur is willing to share it. Thank you very much, Fleur. Or Fleur, Fleur co-chair. Even better. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. <coughs> um, ready for a vote? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next, how about a motion to establish negotiations committee? Vera moves to establish negotiations. I'll second. Lindy seconds. Thank you. All right. Um, the charge for this one is relatively straightforward. It's to negotiate agreements with teachers and non-teaching staff by mid-March 2020. Um, this committee, what sort of the, the initial thought that came to me was again sort of three board members plus two members of two former board members, uh, now members of the community, Chani Waterhouse and Susanna Culver. Chani was, is a former member of the Worcester of the Doty School Board. Susanna is the former <coughs> chair of the Callis Elementary School Board. Um, they're both veterans of the negotiation process. And for those, I think maybe all of you are aware that we use, uh, I, I think we're very distinctive in a, a good way. We use the interest-based bargaining uh, technique that was pioneered by the Harvard Negotiation Project way back in the 80s, the, and, and was sort of made famous by books like Getting to Yes. Um, but uh, it's also, the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service is, um, is very big on this, and they helped us tremendously setting this up years ago, like maybe seven years ago or six years ago. Um, and we've, been, we've done it really successfully over several negotiation cycles. Um, from uh, I was uh, I had the privilege of being a part of the of the I guess it was U thirty two negotiation team um, during one of those cycles and it was one of the most exhilarating experiences I've had serving on a school board um, so it's uh, it's really a great way to go about um, negotiations. Uh, May I add about the training? Please. If you've not been included in a negotiations meetings before with the interest-based bargaining, we will be offering a refresher for board members and teachers and support staff leaders. Uh, so that, and that will be scheduled in most likely in early October. And uh, that will be very helpful to you. And uh, it is a very, it's, a, it's an excellent system and a great way of developing positive labor relations and arriving at the best outcome for all parties. Yeah. Thank you very much, Deborah. Um, and, and I think that training is open to everybody, even yeah, if you're not on the is. negotiation yes, board. And I would encourage you just to understand what it's all about. It's it's really good. Scott? Uh, yeah, Denise, sorry. It's very interesting, that whole negotiation thing. This is a process question. So. If you have three of the current board members out of three out of ten, right? Is there's a total of ten, correct? Board right. Members? Yeah. Right. So three out of ten is not a quorum. So if you have, and those are voting members. So if you have two members from the public who aren't on the school board, the current school board, how does that work? Do all the do all the negotiations that people have agreed on come to the full board? 
to approve, yes. or does it just go to that five-member committee? The, well, the final uh, the final agreement is is ra is approved okay. by the um, the board and plenary okay. session, but the the negotiations committee, because it's constituted as a as a formal committee of this board, is subject to the open meeting law, mm -hmm. and the. Um, <clears throat> Even though there's not a quorum of board members on the committee per se, all of these committees' finance is the same. It too is subject to open meeting. Am, am I correct? Correct. Unless the committee is required to move into an executive session for okay. a specific right. reason, which is outlined in open meeting law. Right. And and negotiations is often one area which we which, yeah. conduct in executive session. So if this negotiation committee votes to move to the full board, whatever the outcome of the negotiations is, do those two members who are not elected by the communities have a vote in moving that forward to the full board? If they're just members that you're asking to serve, um, what's the right word, not ad litem, but ad hoc committee mm -hmm. members, they don't have the authority to um, really do the negotiations or to vote, correct? Uh, may I? Yeah, please. So the board may um, appoint people to serve on committees that they specialize, who feel who they feel have a, a special expertise. And as to the determination of how they, uh, what their roles and responsibilities are, that would be up to the board or the committee to determine. Uh, so. It, it isn't uncommon, especially in negotiations, for there to be other people invited into those discussions mm -hmm. who have expertise or who are you know, representing <coughs> on behalf of the board. So that is, is a common practice. And keep in mind that the interest-based bargaining or any type of bargaining calls for agreement among the parties, um, including the association <coughs> as well as the, uh, the school board before anything would come as a ratified agreement, so that would have to occur in advance. So the, I think you're jumping of ahead of the game. I think that's a decision the board and the board committee would have to make. So these would be members of the public that we didn't necessarily vote into the board that would be able to make decisions. They're, yeah, in, they're not really making a decision. No. They're helping create a contract right. that the board and the teachers union have to ratify. Okay, I'm just going to understand it. I don't know, know that right. about a negotiation, so it's yeah. interesting. And, it, is, and, and, it is typical, very common to have an additional person or two brought in, and, which, and the same could be the case. We might have uh, some additional members brought into our finance committee. We know for a fact Lori will be there, mm -hmm. and I will be there, and we may at some point invite another expert in, such as a, so she's facility, right yeah. a facilities expert to advise mm -hmm. and, and provide us with information. So Thanks for the clarification. Yeah. yeah, and the great thing about the, the interest-based bargaining, too, is that I, I have never known there not to be a consensus uh, among all of the participants on the agreement that's um, brought forward. So there, there basically is no vote. It, it's, um, it, it's everybody's in, uh, on board with it. I was going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so uh, more yeah members. Um, George, I'd be interested. you're interested. Great. Not the chair. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm a teacher. Oh. Um, that has been a problem in the past, but mm -hmm. I'm not a member of the union. So. so how does that work? Would you be able to? She doesn't work for this district. So yeah, I don't, don't work, work for this district. district. So, so I don't have a, a conflict? Conflict in yeah. what so I could. Okay. And some of that would depend on when the meetings are. If they're I would assume they'd be more in the late yeah, afternoon they evening. Be because during the day teachers, because the teachers aren't right. available. So yeah. I could be on that. Okay, George, Lindy, Jonas. Excellent. Okay. George, Lindy, and Jonas. Um Chair. <laughs> I would suggest one of you guys who's, you know, George, you've been part of the I, I can't. I just 
They just don't have the yeah. time. But the other thing is, that could you have a, a Shani or Susanna Potent share, potentially, you know, either just either sort of serve the role, perform the role. The committee yeah, so can choose. Yeah, yeah, the committee can choose. We'll yeah. let the committee choose. Yeah, that's, that's better for all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, we have the charge. Will you read and the charge? Again? Of course. Negotiate agreements with teachers and non-teaching staff by mid-March 2020. And membership, we have Jonas Uno Van Fleet, George Gross, and Lindy Johnson. And Susanna Kerber. And plus, members of the public, Susanna Cover and Chani Waterhouse. Is it good? All right. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. So, um, board meeting calendar, page 23. In living color, <laughs> would anyone like to move that we accept the board meeting calendar for 2019-2020? So moved. Floor moves. Second. Jaya seconds. Discussion. I, I noticed in January, probably because the first is on a Wednesday, that we only have one meeting scheduled. Quite often with budgets, we have either informational meetings, which would be in addition to, I would assume. Mm -hmm. So if we kept it the one, should we anticipate that there may be a informational type budget forum, community forum? I made a note to talk about that next week, next okay. time we meet, because we're going to be setting the annual meeting. That would be a good time to set the informational meeting okay. dates as well. Yeah. yeah, some of these were input before it gets. Um, oh, published sure. where we had public come yes. in. If I mean, in the past there have been hot topics school by school where there were teachers being cut or programs being cut or things like that. Yeah. That sometimes extra mm -hmm. meetings had to be added to get that public input, and now it will be all six schools. So just I think keeping in mind that there's a potential in early January of at added meetings or meetings. Yes. <coughs> Quite right. I think it should be expected. But because there are, there are probably more along the lines of forums, um, it would be added. It wouldn't it would be, be a regular added. meeting. It wouldn't be a regular meeting, and you know, you wouldn't necessarily be compelled morally to attend. <laughs> I, I had a question also about January. So in January, we're doing the second Wednesday. I mean, we're not doing the first or the third. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I was just wondering. I it was the third. Oh, it is the third. The first, first was, was that asterisk. Is the asterisk. Oh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. the reason. It's the first of, of January, yeah. which okay. is... That's the, yeah. It's, it's just the actual, weird. It's the actual holiday. first Wednesday, not, school, not the Wednesday we're first in school. Oh, yeah. Right. right. Yeah. It's a holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's the... It just, I have a couple like every second, you know, the second yes. Wednesday. Yes, yes. Right. Right. But we could, you know, we could consider having the football game. No, this is this works. I just totally missed. <laughs> 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 that would be great. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions or, or comments or it? it uh, you understand the the basic routine. Every first Wednesday we meet at U thirty two. Every every third Wednesday we meet at one of the elementary schools on a circuit rider basis. I'd like this on the um, school websites mm -hmm. under school board so that it's definitely just there. as soon as you approve it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, any other questions, comments, suggestions? Okay. All in favor of establishing the board meeting calendar as on page 23, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed. Great. All right. Now we have 
appointing the board representative to the Central Vermont Career Center Board. Um, do we have a motion? Oh, well, no. Let's wait and talk about it, and then we have a person, and then move that person. Okay. Um, I can give a little background on that. Uh, I have, the director has reached out to me, and uh, if I understand that you have an option of either uh, appointing an administrator, such as myself, or appointing an administrator and having a board representative. The meetings are on Mondays, and I have to check which Monday of the month, but at 4 p.m. Uh, from 4 to 5.30. And I'll, let me just check my calendar and I'll tell you when the next one is. Uh, so it's not an obligation, but it's an, an option, and I think it's very helpful and, and informs the board about educational opportunities for students outside of our own school system. You're familiar with the Technical Center in Barry? Okay. And I would encourage you. I saw their um, promotional video at our opening day, and the stuff that's going on there is pretty dynamic. The video is excellent, and it's way more than um, what I think people think of with Votech. Mm -hmm. It truly is a career center, and the opportunities and having had some electrical work done by a graduate of their program who then apprenticed, um, it was the best work we've had done in our house. Uh, we really need to be encouraging students. I know it takes kids out of year 32, but um, they're doing some great stuff for kids who might not fit necessarily into the college bound, but they are doing all kinds of certificate programs. But their video is excellent to see what all they're doing. And if it works for them, that's what it should be all about. Should be. Yeah. And they meet on the first <coughs> Monday. Uh, the next meeting is in October. They meet quarterly, so it'll be October, December, and then running through the rest of the calendar year, quarterly. Yes, uh, I think this is a very important, uh, I mean, we, uh, we're appointing an administrator anyway, do I understand correctly? Correct. And uh, I think it would be great if one of us is interested, it's a very important uh, connection that would be great to have that additional line of um, contact with uh, with the board. Is there any? Is there a board member who's interested, Flora? That's one thing that I was really passionate about, but you know, there's a lot. So if there's somebody else that really wants to do it, I have a relationship with John. I I sort of follow them when Scott fired. That's something that you know I feel like we have to work. Statewide also, as yeah, yeah. funding, and that we're uh -huh. not competing for funding, and yeah. that we're um, doing, you know, because we need to encourage more and have a better way to bring kids, you know, have a bigger system. And if you can work, if you can work out that, or uh, make any progress in that, that would be fantastic. So you're interested. Do I take it? I'm, I'm interested, unless there's somebody that, because I know that it's been a conflict, and we haven't had a presence. Yeah. It's difficult time. So it's at the, the time. Yeah. So, it's, at the end of so the it's really day. yeah. So you need really to be there important. and maybe roll at four o'clock. Right. 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 Really are, are you able to do that? Are you able to? I might be able to do all the Mondays, but I. I well, it's quarterly. There's only quarterly. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I could yeah, go. So I you can't go. I'd be like an alternate. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I could. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So, um, shall we make? Uh, does someone does someone want to make a motion for? Um, First of all, for a point of view. Yes. Okay, for appointing Deborah as our superintendent, as the our administrative representative to the Central Vermont Career Center, appointing Floor as our board representative, and Mary Lynn as Floor's alternate. So, Jonas moves. Thus, okay, and Dorothy seconds. Um, any any further discussion about this? That's good. All right. All in favor of Deborah Floor Marilyn as the um, representatives and alternate to Central Vermont Career Center, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Any opposed? <coughs> None opposed. <coughs> okay. Great, so we can move on to finance. Um, and Deborah, would you like to? Sure, I'll lead this off. 
Uh, the first item in this is to approve the budget process and timeline. In our last meeting, which was uh, our board training a few weeks back, we did receive uh, the first draft of this, and it's been included in your packet this evening as well. Uh, as you can see, it sets out a process which is uh, very heavy on school administration research and work for the first two months in September and October at which point in time the expense budgets are drafted. Um, beginning in November, the first draft of the budget is brought to the board for feedback and adjustment. And uh, then once feedback is received, changes are made and a second draft is brought forward in December. At that point, we await, as always, uh, some very important pieces of revenue information, including uh, the information that will relate to our tax for the towns. However, that does not come until often after December 15th, which is after or close to being after your last meeting in December. And for that reason, if the board chooses to use the tax information as a way of gauging where we are with our budget, then you may need to wait until January to make your final decision. Uh, so it really will depend on the progress you make, and we know the Finance Committee will be working actively in between our meetings uh, with the administration to develop that draft budget. We are not um, requesting this this evening, but at a future meeting in September, it would be helpful to us if you could provide us with some guidance as to what your parameters are, uh, such as, <coughs> is there a certain percentage of increase that you'd like to see? Uh, is the level fund budget the first draft that you're looking for? Are there other programs? So we're not looking for that input tonight, but we would really appreciate that before we get too far into the first draft preparation, uh, so we can include that in a future agenda. Great. Excellent. <coughs> that's, um, that's very good. This is especially important, I think, because this is the first actual merged budget that's done as a merged budget, as opposed to just the sum of the individual budgets. And um, I think it's likely that people will be saying, no, where's the beef? Um, and we're going to have to, you know, deliver. So, um, what do you think? Is that... <laughs> it's like a commercial. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, that's right. It's on my mind. Um, <laughs> we may have some vegetarians in the so Perhaps, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. that's right. Um, okay, so um, in terms of the, the process and timeline, is there action that you wanted us yes. to take? We would like that, and that way, um, you know, just as a way of giving us the authority to proceed in this manner, and but we will still be back to get additional feedback and information to help guide us in the development of the budget, of course. And of course, we'll be working with our finance committee as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. So, Scott? So move uh, first board. Uh, Rick. Rick. So. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would just say, you know, in the development of this budget and the unified budget, I would be taking a particularly close eye to performance measures on the success of the unification. And do you want to be able to extrapolate out data about how you were doing compared to what, how we operated before and not drowning out results in unified data? You know, I work with a lot of budgets too and I know exactly how that's going to happen. And I think, you know, if you, there has to be a accountability for this kind of action because there's a considerable expense in many communities. So there's a better, you need to have some very, clear performance results and, and, and they only will come out of this if you structure your budget data in a way that you can actually kind of compare that. Lori is somewhat of an expert at that and I would leave that to her but yeah. you know I would not advise you to unify to the point where you cannot you can't justify and you can't extract performance measures. I think that's a very good suggestion for the Finance Committee and the Board. Yes. When that is begun. I agree completely. And Lori knows my favorite chart 
and <laughs> how to um, uh, how to adapt it to you know the new circumstances and how to make it a, a useful tool for the board to um, to monitor you know monitor spending and and sort of plan for the future. We're working on it. Yep. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So. Um, did I miss Floyd? Did you have something? No, that you I just said to move that to make a motion. Make a motion? Okay. Thank you very much. Motion for the to budget process that way. Okay, very good. Floor moves that the board approve the um, the budget process and timeline. Um, as we have here, plus Deborah's comments a moment ago about seeking parameters in September. Um, uh, do we have a second? Yep. A second. Maryland seconds. Any further discussion? Questions? Can I ask Lori, is there anything else you want to see on here? Any changes you'd make? I typed up what we've historically done. Okay. I'm looking forward to working with the administrators as a team instead of individually. So I think that's the change that will be this year. Okay. Um, anybody else? It's okay? Shall we? All right. So, all in favor of approving the budget process and timeline, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Good. Okay. Now, purchasing cars. <coughs> Page 26 of the packet. So, I will uh, provide an overview and then Lori can uh, fill in details about you, particularly. Uh, how you've operated your purchasing procedures in the past. So uh, at, uh, it, uh, it became clear that we were having some difficulty with, as a result of our change of entity from the uh, school districts individually to our merge district because uh, previously we had chosen to utilize a, a local organizations credit cards so for example grocery stores and um, gas stations and things like that when we needed to to make purchases on behalf of the schools uh, but because those are run by large corporations that require a, um, a background or an experience of um, prior financial credit and we did not have that we were having difficulty and we were getting denied so we brainstormed some ideas of you know what other options are available and, and this particular one that we're pr proposing has actually been available uh, and in use in Vermont uh, for about the last 13 or 14 years um, is the, um, the conversation is utilizing a procurement card uh, which has a very detailed amount of information that allows us to monitor spending but very strict limitations as to how many funds are available, dollars that are available. Uh, in the two school systems I've worked in in Vermont, both of them have utilized the system and it's worked very well. Uh, Lori has done some additional research speaking with the business manager in the, one of the districts that initiated the work here in the state of Vermont, has already received copies of their procedures and if the board would be willing to approve this for us, then we would be able to finalize that and, and uh, begin the process of applying. It will take us about four to six weeks before we're able to finalize the process because the application process takes about that long. So in the meantime, we'll continue to use the purchase order and petty cash system that we have set up. Uh, but we feel that this is going to really assist us and as you can see from the information that was provided in advance, there's actually a percentage rebate on the credit card, which we in the past would be paying 15%. Now we'd be getting a, a rebate back on this type of a card. They're all, they are utilized by municipalities as well as schools. Uh, so and again, have a very long track record and a very solid track record. So uh, we can provide you with more information if you're willing to support this, which I feel, I strongly feel would be of the very best interest of our schools in our district, um, we would require that you make a resolution to that effect, and there's a resolution within your packet this evening. Um, further questions of myself or Lori are welcome, if you have them. Why the Bank of Montreal? 
Um, that is the bank that was selected by the 22 states who have had this consortium going on for years. Interesting. Do you have any idea why? Like All I know is um, TD Bank is from Canada as well. Really? So if people don't realize that, yeah, there's a lot of banks that are okay. out of country now. Right. Um, uh, first board comments and then any up there. Um, so in the letter to the board members, uh, it just indicates for the schools in central office, who at the schools are going to have these cards? Is it every employee? Or no, just no, no, specific? no. No. Laura, did you want to no, address we're that? We're going to roll this out in a slow but thorough process, which would be to start with the principal's office would have one card. Um, we may determine down the road that it's in our best interest to have the maintenance director or lead maintenance have one for local purchases. But in the interim, we're really just probably going to be deploying at the elementary schools one card. At the high school, we currently have gas cards for fans, etc. So we would be issuing more cards to U32 staff. But it would all be secured in, in the office and there's a form people have to sign. And if anyone gets caught um, misusing it, they can be fired. It's all real clear in the procedures and in the forms that would be required. And you have the ability to set a max for each card for yes. each person. So what yes. would that max be? And you can change it and I could stop it at any time if there was ever any concern. But do you have a max in mind for the rollout of it? it True. It will vary depending on the position and the level. So U32 would have a higher amount than say Calis elementary school. So I'm taking feedback from my peers who have been using this system for 13 years. I'm conferring with our auditor as well, and I'm also conferring with our treasurer, Mary, <coughs> to make sure everyone is <coughs> on the same page and that we roll this out slowly but surely. Any other board members before we go to the public? Uh, Rick. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I work for the state in property management, you know, but we. I have a P card for the state, and that's very tightly matched, works very, very well. In fact, it saves a considerable amount of cost in accounting and speeds process up, not having to go through work order systems. But, I mean, I'm curious, I mean, those those are, there really should be no interest income at all loss. I mean, those are paid off on a, no, there's you know, an interest. The payment periods there's a rebate. religiously, so you, there should be zero interest, regardless of rate that goes out. It's a, yes. one, it's a plus 1.54 percent rebate. Rebate. So if, you got a rebate. Yes, plus. yes it's, it's not, not interest. Right? Yeah. If I if we pay it off cards. within 10 days, yeah. and so we need to talk more about the procedure on the payment. Well, this sounds like a good deal. I was just I was interested in the whole, we were ha having trouble establishing credit because we were a new entity. So essentially, we'd have to escrow. I mean, I don't know what kind of balances we run on our P card. Accounts. They aren't that um, big usually. Um, so you could escrow money. But this key card will allow us um, to have credit. They work with schools that have merged and they're very familiar with the merger process. So they're willing to give us the so credit good. Yeah, it's a good where thing. the others have yeah. denied us, like Amazon, for instance. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. It sounds like a real savings of paperwork and clerical time. And if it's a sign out and accounting like that. If somebody does misuse it, it would be caught rather quickly, it appears. Mm -hmm. So it makes you, sense. Honestly, they are. They're caught. I, I know the state that happens. And mm -hmm. they're, they're, they shut them right down. Right. Yeah. So I just wanted to be sure that I understood. So you said municipalities, so towns. Because mm -hmm. we just, the town of Cal's just got a credit card, but we're, you know, for late payments or whatever, you get interest. But this, there's no interest, you just get a rebate. True. Well, you would pay it within, within 30 days. 30 days. Right. And they might directly withdraw it from the account, so they yeah. have to do with it. I can share with you the, yeah, the I'd link. Like to, yeah, I'd like to hear more about that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so the resolution would need to be signed by the chair, and yeah. we would need to record wow. the people who vote, the right. number of people who vote for and against it, yes. as well as I would need a copy of the board minutes as soon as possible to send a notification. So they said unapproved minutes are acceptable. <coughs> Very good. You have that here for signature, so when you do make the vote, it will report the minutes and minutes. Okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. So um, we've heard about the purchasing cards. 
we would need a motion to approve the resolution on page 27 of the packet to, uh, I guess, authorize me. Well, yeah, that would be part of it. We would be authorizing the issuance of individual procurement cards to the school district and authorizing me to sign for the board. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the issuing of P cards to the schools with Scott signing the resolution for acceptance. Thank you, Wendy. In four seconds? Great. Okay. Scott, can I make one suggestion that really helps yes. from our experience? Put the school's tax number on the P card. Can you do it? So you don't end up having no. taxes. That's charged. a separate issue. But I mean, it, it just um, from a mechanical issue, it makes it much but easier. Yeah, we'll. Yeah, we'll. No, it doesn't um, have to be part of the motion, but I'm talking about some mechanical thing that. We'll yeah. Do. Great. Uh, um, yeah, tech transfer. Excellent. Okay. So um, we have the motion and the second. Any further discussion? Very good. Uh, let's go to a vote then. All in favor of approving the resolution authorizing issuance of individual procurement cards and having me sign for you all, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed? That's great. So, um, that's done. Now. Should I put the verbiage from the resolution in the minutes or no? Yes. Yeah. Um, can I give that to you after? Great. Okay, so um, we move on to personnel approving hires. How would you like to do this? Do you want to do them as a block? Or sure, a... Uh, that would be fine. Okay. The pack information is in your packet. Um, and you have, as a, this is a process we've used in the past, I hope it is going to work well for you. We include the nomination form, which has a summary of the individual, their position, and the, if it's a replacement, who they're replacing, what that person's experience is, and then of course, what is their salary. Uh, and so there were a number of these that were accomplished over the summer because the board authorized us to uh, carry out our hiring of positions, of licensed positions. So these are all people who were hired since your last, over the course of the summer, and they're just here for you to approve this evening. Great, so if anyone would want to move that we approve the hires in the packet from, paper. do we have to list names or do we have to? I think you can name them in the, in okay. the minutes if you wish, do you want me to? So would you? Um, sure. Uh, we have Bonnie Dunham, a, a school nurse for Romney. We have Charles Leggy, physical education teacher to be shared between Romney and Doty. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. No, Sorry, U32. We have another one later on that's being shared, but it's not. It's not Chaz. It is Michael. So I apologize. So a full-time teacher for U32. Uh, Maria Melikos is increasing her FTE. Uh, she's presently working. Was working at a 0.5 and will now be at a 0.9. And Maria will be shared as a school nurse between. Uh, Doty and Callis, which Kat mentioned earlier as we were taking our tour. And then Michael Sotherby, who is our BE teacher for Callis and, I'm uh, sorry, for Romney and Doty is also on the docket for this evening. And as of this evening, that completes all of our teacher hires. As we know, um, maybe needed something new may arise, but we are full at this point. So. Great, excellent. So, um, would anyone like to move those hires? Jaya moves. Second. Dorothy seconds. Any discussion? Do I have to sign no sign? You can abstain if you wish. Or even if we're not. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to know that too. Do you want to take them one by one then? Rather than, or do you want to abstain from 
I think in this, this small state, state, we know people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not a close family. It's not member. a family. Yeah, member. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think a family member would be more of a concern. But yeah. yeah, if there were an appearance of conflict of interest, then yeah. it would be. Yeah. Um, uh, and just again to um, to make sure it's understood, these are all licensed employees. The superintendent has the statutory authority to hire non-licensed employees without our approval. So. Within the confines of the budget that you set. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. Good. Okay. Um, any any further discussion? I'm curious. Not really nosy, but curious why some have the salary and one doesn't. Just curious. I don't want to know what else. It's filled out in three of the four. Oh, I think Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was in June, and I'm sorry. Um, but it's I, by a step, and it's by the contract, so it's yeah. not it's not making a difference to me. I just was curious. Yeah, it's associate step zero. Um, That's fine. Lori, do you offhand know what that might be? The associate okay. step Yeah, zero. I can do a quick look. Oh, I don't have my. It's usually 85% of a bachelor's with zero. Mm -hmm. So it's probably 85% of 46,000. Okay. 27, because it's an associate. I think it was because it crossed. Um, you can see Bill signed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there might have been yeah. some crossover. Okay. I don't That's think fine. it was intentional. No, it was just an oversight. But thank yep. you for mentioning it. We'll be more careful about that in the future. Just making sure it wasn't like $300,000. <laughs> 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 I believe a full-time equivalent would be $39,293. Okay. Very good. Any other questions? Okay. All in favor of... Uh, and, and, okay, we had the... Um, we did have the, the motion and the second, correct? Yes. Very good. Okay. So, all in favor of... <laughs> approving the hiring of these four people as named by Deborah, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Opposed. Very good. All right, so future agenda items. <clears throat> um, there are a bunch. We have uh, CV fiber and solar power are kind of on, still on hold. We're paying attention, they're on the radar. But uh, timing will depend on, on other factors. Student representative to school board. Um, this, is, this is of interest. Mm -hmm. And when do you think we can do this one? Well, it's going to, I will defer to Jody uh, to determine when it might be possible we need to be able to recruit. That We have two people in the past. And we have one interested, but we need to recruit a junior is my understanding. I don't know uh, if that will be something that could be done by the 4th of September, or if the next meeting prior, following that would be better. I, I just defer to you on that. So probably gonna be the next one following yeah, next that, one. but we can try. Okay, all right, all right. So no later than the second meeting in September. Good, all right. Vera. Oh, Vera, sorry. Well, what has the process in the past been to recruit the students? Jody, are you to agree why email? Has it gone through TAs? Is it just a face-to-face -face competition with staff member on Zoom too? It's gone out. Um, Stephen has sent out the invite to the students in um, the junior and senior classes or whichever class needs it. So the junior class most frequently because we usually get a junior and they stay for two years. Um, so all students in the junior class and their TAs get that email and invite and they're asked to let Stephen know if they would like to serve. And if there's more than one, then he interviews them. Anyone else on student representative? Okay. Do we, sorry, I have a question. Um, do, do you know if any of our middle school kids participate in the pager program at the, at the, at the, at the state house? And I just wonder, like, so would this be a good opportunity for them to learn this process or no? Because they're just... One of the problems is them getting to the meetings too because they don't drive yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. Yeah, great. Um, uh, Seven point four. Another future agenda item is the the VSBA dues issue, which we're going to have to uh, confront yeah, and deal with in September. So um, my thought was, on September four, we can have sort of a discussion that uh, just set aside a half an hour for it. Um, and to do it, to conduct it, I, I'll present it. Um, I, I will present, I'll present the framework for it. Um, and then I intend not to be a part of the discussion itself. Um, but I want it to be conducted um, very seriously, very professionally, I guess, and um, and with goodwill and good grace, and um, you know, in a spirit of actually trying to be constructive, both towards ourselves and towards VSBA. So, um, what I'd like to do is set aside a half an hour at our next meeting. Um, if we don't reach a decision by the end of that half hour, then I'll just stop there and we'll make sure that the meeting goes on and does everything that we need to do, which will be a lot still. Um, and then we'll have the 18th for a continuation and hopefully a conclusion. Does that sound okay? Is there any research you'd like me to do in advance of the meeting? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think. What would you need the, for him on some more? Like what do, what do we get, the pros of the, um, Dues, we may not know all the things that go on or that are part of it being part of a professional membership like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can go on their website and get some of that information, but I think we need to be well informed. Yes, so we I do can, have I can send that. So at our previous meeting, we wrote a letter and there were links of, to our budget, to okay. what each if you director does. So I could resend the live link, like the ones I yeah, sent to you. Yeah, that's great. Good. Anything, anything else? Wasn't there a handout from the presentation? Yeah, yeah. 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 If, if you, you want email that, that no, 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 no. But there was, it's just yeah, refreshing was, us. If you yeah. can email that to me, I'll get it to everyone. Yeah, I'll send, I'll send it to you. But it has links to the, the questions that, that were asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to make sure that all of the documentation that is germane yeah. is available to board members for, um, in, ahead of the discussion, well enough ahead so that you have a chance to, you know, not only to read it, but also to be able to think about it. Well, having chaired the policy committee, all of those model policies came from VSBA. That was my right. most, That's a the research. closest familiarity I had to a benefit or um, a part of that membership and what we got from it. So. Yes, all of, all of this will be able to factor in to the discussion. Um, Would it be helpful to have a list of the issues that will be happening at the legislature this year at the VSBA to be involved in the resolution, yeah, between resolutions and what is on for us next year, right? That's mm -hmm. Great. Like, would that be helpful just to see what, what kinds of things they're supporting? What, how, yeah, other things that are supporting. I, I think maybe um, what's, uh, I think what has, We have to look at what actually there is, as opposed to what there will be, or what. Or, or what, what was at this past, just even this past session, the past session, and what stayed in hold that is going to come up. Yeah, I, I think whatever is germane to the discussion um, is uh, we should have access to. the um, The difficulty will be if it just turns into this like oceanic flood of documents, which. Um, in which case we might have to do some culling just to make sure that it's to the point. And that would be the three of us. Um, but even if we receive an oceanic flood, I don't have to read them. I can true. inform myself by, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I'm not expecting that. I'm not expecting a flood. Mm -hmm. But just like I would research if I'm going to go with a new bank or something, what are the pros, what are the cons, why do I want to give them my money? Yeah, you 
I can have as an informed person, I yes. need that. Very good. Um, any other? We also expect representation from the SBA. Sure. Yeah. I, I would try to bring some of the smaller, if it's possible. Uh, yeah. Two um, of the smaller members that I think you would identify with. So I would try to ask Christina, who's Dorothy's daughter in law, and it's a smaller district, rural district, too, and have her opinions. And Dan. And yeah, I should just remember just, that. Um, we did have we did have VSBA representation in an earlier meeting. Yeah. Um, and, and, and we had a retreat of an hour and a half. But yeah. there were also some outstanding questions that, that they wanted time to go back and review and get back to us on. One of them I understand they won't be able to respond to, which I think was Chris's request that they no, show us internal communications to. about the the labor, the complaint to the labor board, the labor relations board, um, and there was, I think, so something else about Act Forty Six that they were going to go back and get documentation about and, and, and reflect back to us because I, it was Nicole, and I'm not sure if Nicole's still going to be there. Through November. Through November. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we. I, I want to go back to those minutes, but I think that there there were two specific items that they wanted time to be able to come back. And, yeah, and we can share those responses. Okay. Yeah, and we'll we'll just try to collect what is relevant and make sure that we're able to inform the discussion properly. Um, and, and it would be nice if it's a discussion and not a trial. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, so, like it just, so that we're both talking about pros and cons and not like, I don't, you know, based on you know, based on what the organization does, and obviously I know there's some previous uh, yes. feelings about the organization, but so that it is uh, back and forth information, not uh, right. You know what I mean this, by this it, is right? not it's this not. is not going to be one of the board's quasi-judicial exactly. procedures. <laughs> yes. Um, anything else from the board before I go to? Uh, sorry, Lori. Just to approve the board orders. Oh, oh, that's on you. Did you put that? I think we signed them. Thank you. Yeah, Double check. Um, thank you, Lori. Uh, if you um, don't worry, we'll come back to this. I'm just going to take a brief interlude to um, to thank Lori and also to ask for a motion to approve the board orders, two sets of board orders, one in the amount of $926,263.82, and the other in the amount of 278000 Sixty-four dollars and twenty cents. Um, anyone want to move that? I can move it, Lindy. Lindy and Vera second. <coughs> Thank you very much. Any questions about the board orders? Signed. They have almost all been signed. I still have to. Okay. Um, questions about the board orders? No, we, just need to, we need to add more lines. I drew more lines for everybody, but so there's just five lines. Oh, from the old days. From the old days, yeah. Okay. Let's be ten. Okay. Um, uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Very good. Okay. So, um, Dorothy. Oh, not on board orders. I have one more thing. We were going to. Uh, 4.1 was going to be moved down to the future agenda. Yes, the right. annual meeting date. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, annual meeting date. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, I really break down at the end of these meetings. Um, and uh, we That's still... Why we're 10 of us. We have, we have um, hands up among the public. Uh, Denise? Um, well, actually, Rick's hand was up first, but... Ah. You want to go first? Sure. It's, uh, yeah, two things. One, I don't think you should recuse yourself from that conversation any more than fortunate. 
you know, you represent our town. I think your opinion is very valid in this conversation, be the best be. Number two, I think we really, you know, I would emphasize that those answers posed, particularly what Chris asked about, I and mean, there's a lawyer asking about internal conversations of, which might well show collusion and, and misrepresentation to the towns. These are serious legal issues. You know, I think we need to get definite answers you know, about to those questions before we begin to think about supporting an organization like that who may not, may in fact be misrepresenting us. And so, you know, I would emphasize not pushing that under the rug, but, you know, I personally, as a town, you know, someone from our yes. town, those are my tax dollars, I want to know the answers to those questions. I understand. And, and yeah. note, note taken on, on both counts. Um, because we're, this is the future agenda, we're, um, we're not yet time traveling. So uh, all of this um, sort of uh, previews of coming attractions, well, that, I guess. The key is you've got to have the information before. Yes, the information vote, will so. be definitely available before. That's crucial. Absolutely. Um, so another future agenda. Oh, I'm sorry, Denise. So I had a few questions, but maybe one is irrelevant. I just wondered if any current board members were also serving on the VSBA board. And if they are, should they re say what? Florians. I mean, if they're currently serving on that board, it seems to me that's a conflict of interest. Right. We'll, we'll, um, here's another, that's an that's, interesting I just wanted point. to make that statement. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, again, we'll, that's for raising later. Right. When we and the other question the I issue. had, and I don't know the answer to, but you probably do, is there another group to represent the school boards besides the VSBA? There seems to me there's like this Vermont School Board yes. Alliance yes. or something. Yeah, I don't um, know how that works. Is that something? May we save can... this for also for next time, Denise? Uh, September Yeah, 4? I just wanted to know if you had. There, there does exist an alliance of Vermont School Board members. That was noted in the minutes of the um, June meeting. You could review those minutes. So they're online if you would like. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, future agenda. There's still more. Um, there are more committees to deal with. Uh, we're we're kind of we're titrating them. them. Yeah, we're creating them as we go. As we go. Yeah. Um, That's needed. Kind of. <clears throat> they require some of them will require more discussion than others. So um, we want to make it you know bite sized. I can tell you what committees you had last year. Uh, you had an executive committee, a policy committee, a transportation committee, a school quality committee, and a negotiations committee. And then U32 had a finance and facilities committee uh, and a career center regional advisory board member. So, um, so those were the committees you had in place last year. Would you like me to repeat them? I went awfully fast. You did. <coughs> Sorry. You can email them. Sure, I'd be happy to. And I can send you the list of people who served on them from the old boards. You know, I'll just send this, this document right to everyone. Perfect. That'd be helpful. Great. Sure. And, and there, that's not necessarily what we'll do yeah. this time. Um, okay. A another, another potential future agenda item. Um, Maybe at the next meeting, discuss those committees? Yes. Have that as an agenda item? Yes. Yes. Determine what we need. Yes. Sounds good. Okay. Great. Um, another one that I'm just throwing out there. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if anyone is wildly in love with the name Washington Central Unified Union School District or the abbreviation for it. Um, but there's no reason why we can't look at name for ourselves, too. Mm -hmm. I think it had been mentioned that would be required to be voted on. It's not required to be voted on by the public. The board has the authority to change the name. But I'm sure you want to, You don't want to do it this evening. No, no, no. <laughs> no. This is a future, a future. You might yeah. put a little bit more study, and maybe um, I thought a contest would be great amongst the students uh, just to see what their ideas were. <laughs> Did the union number change? Yes, we're 92 now. We're 92. So <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. I've been thinking about it because ours changed. Uh, our, our number changed. I don't know why they had to change, but 
Do we have a sponsor? No, we don't. <laughs> it's a whole air identity. <coughs> yeah, that's so. So one future item is a, where, when can we go back to looking at it or do it, the book reflection? Before yeah. Before we get into more committees, um, possible. Uh, what, do you want to? That would be wise to do that next time and then the committees the following. Yeah. I know, um, it might be, we might have a, a, a really um, high energy set. So. Uh, let's, let's. Everyone, everyone has. We all have the book, right? And um, it doesn't have to be right away, but just to keep that in mind before we very definitely and before we completely structure everything. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I'd also mention that you know the, the community mapping that we have, you know, here in August. August is done. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah. And I think that's really important. I think we can the move. members of the public would agree that that's important yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 Great. Did you follow the front porch form? I did. Was um, I, I was going to do that, and I did do that. And I'm waiting to hear back from Wendy Wilson, um, who said that this was something that I, I thought they would have encountered it already. Said they hadn't. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Hadn't encountered what? The um, multi-town district wanting. Really? To be, wanting to be the wanting to have. Porch forms are town by town. That's baloney what? because I emailed them and asked them that exact question. They said, "Yeah, we get that a lot." You need to find someone in another town to post it for you. Well, she so said uh, she she said that there. Um, what I just asked is not for posting, but for seeing other towns. Yeah, so which is same, yeah. Same there's a U32 form that would serve us because it includes all the towns. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's been used in the past. Because I was never as a U32 board member ever able to post to other no. No, U32 towns. No, we do through the office. Through, through we the get office, special yeah. permission. Yeah. 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 Seeing what happens. Okay. So anyway. So, great. so we're waiting. Wendy Wilson is on vacation. I followed up with her. Okay. And she's on vacation this week. And hopefully we'll find out soon. Which, which, thank you, that's actually not a bad segue into the next agenda item, next to last, um, reflection and summary. Uh, I don't think we need to summarize necessarily, um, but in terms of what we do, feel free to, um, and, and in fact, not only feel free, but please talk to people, especially as school is winding up and everybody's wondering sort of what's going on. Um, Communicate in Front Porch Forum. Uh, at this point, uh, I think we just need to let people know how this is working and um, whom to talk to, whom they can, they can look to with regard to their school board representation. And I think, too, that the intent of this agenda item, as I understood it, is also to reflect on this evening's meeting. Mm -hmm. And what we typically use in our board, or excuse me, our, um, our school meetings, is sometimes we use something called pluses and deltas. Mm -hmm. So if anybody would like to share something that they thought was very worthwhile tonight, and or a concern, or something we might try to do better the next time. I think that's part of what this particular yeah. item is all about. If you don't mind my I, Of course saying, not. No, no, that's great. The, um, the uh, tour was a plus. Yeah, the tour was a great plus. Thank you, Kat and Chris. I think seeing all of our buildings, yeah. because there's been too much of people believing they know what's going on in schools, and I, this doesn't say we know what's going on, <coughs> but just the familiarity with our buildings. If somebody from another town asks me a question as a board member, having a familiarity with the buildings, I think is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, what about anything that could have gone better? The public a little closer. They yeah. couldn't hear. Yeah. That's true. I, I agree. The discussion then had about um, the timeline for principal's reports to this board. I could address that. Thank you for mentioning it. Uh, we thought we would do them monthly. And because we really haven't, don't have students yet, um, it, the best time to begin would be next meeting. So um, we actually have a template that we've drafted. We'll like your feedback on it next time. We're going to bring together all of our central office and building administrators' information into what we hope will be a comprehensive report. 
tell us if you feel that's the case. So we'll have it for you in your next board packet for September 4th. It'll be an opening. And then we'll have one after that every month at the beginning of the month. And our administrators are always here. Um, I think that they have typically provided monthly reports. Yeah. And all of our administrators are going to be participating in the development of those. So we'll have information from all the schools. Some of which you may just want to read and others you may want to have highlighted or ask questions about and they'll be here to respond. See what you think about the format we're preparing and let us know, give us feedback. And will all the leadership team like this come to both or just one a month? It's really up to the board. I, I think I think only those who are who who want to come or who you determine are necessary in order to get the board work done. I think twice a month is asking a lot for yeah. an evening when they also have to do open houses and all the other things that people expect principals to attend in a school in the evenings. So the elementary principals at least only had one a month. U32 used to always have two a month. But I'm just, I personally am kind of thinking that two a month is asking a lot. Yeah. It was suggested that it was twice a month because we are rotating around the schools mm -hmm. and those rotations will include our elementary schools. Mm -hmm. And I heard this evening one of our administrators said, I've never been to this building before. Mm -hmm. So perhaps, you know, it's, and I know that I think that they would be pleased if they had one versus <laughs> two, but, um, you know, because I don't have the history as a prior superintendent, there may be questions that arise that I can't answer. Mm -hmm. And I would hate to put you in a position of not knowing the answer to your question for another two weeks because simply because I don't have that historical or institutional memory to draw upon. Hmm. But it certainly is up to you. And, yeah. Um, well, we, we'll engage them more in the next meeting when we have reports, of course. Sounds good. I mean, you're always, always welcome. <laughs> but I, you know, I, we're very aware of the burdens that you carry and don't want to add any more than we already are to them. So. so I guess we should see what the board wants as a whole. And they'd probably like to know definitively, right? <laughs> you would like them to be here every meeting or <laughs> once a month? I mean, they could one. Oh, we aren't going to take attendance, are we? No. And once a month, somebody would have two as an elementary because if they are always at the U32, then their school is hosting. But what you said, as far as people seeing all the buildings, Maybe they come to the one when we're at the school, the elementary schools. I, I, I just don't. I personally feel like most questions could be answered or gotten back to us by email um, to save people more time away from their families. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, it would also be give them the opportunity, especially through budget season, to, that they feel free to you know, come when they, so they need to come, or when they feel like. Yeah. I guess my only point would be some consistency along across mm -hmm. um, right. what our expectations are. So That's what I was asking. asking. One principal is coming to every meeting and Correct. getting consistency. Yeah, yeah. Actually, scheduled our meetings in advance of yours every time, so we have the opportunity to talk about issues of the school and board questions. So we'll, we make that a we'll make that a routine this year. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Great. So, um, have I missed anything? Anything left? Can we go home? Yes. Should we adjourn by consensus then? Did you sign the board? I did. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all very much, and thank you for hosting here. Yeah, thanks very much. Have a good evening. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs>